Obviously, Pen Relays has 49,000 fans, and it's gonna be a bit different than what Ivy Championships will be like, but it put us in a really stressful environment, and it gave us a glimpse into what a stressful meet's like when we get to HEPs. You know, when things don't necessarily go our way, we know kind of how to, you know, take a step back and realize you just gotta focus and tune into what you're doing. Um, it gave us really good prep for HEPs of seeing the track, but also being prepared for the stress that's gonna happen at an Ivy Championship meet. The, the dynamic of groups here is at Harvard, especially in track and field, is that like all the teams train together. We all train in Gordon together day after day. Last year, I actually trained with all girls, so I've seen them win. But for the guys, it's kind of like this isn't this isn't alien. This isn't something abnormal. Like you literally see these girls train every day, and they've managed to win back to back Ivy League championships. And like I hope they do this this outdoor meet too. But I feel like for the men, like the men are kind of just at a different stage developmentally and um, we've, we've been able to come up, indoors was definitely pretty upsetting, it was disappointing but we definitely feel as though we have the talent in our team to achieve a top place Ivy League finish. To win another one would really mean we've kind of established this winning tradition going forward. Winning an indoor and an outdoor is something that doesn't happen very often in track. And if we were able to do it two years in a row, it would mean that you know Harvard's a force to be reckoned with. And we can compete at that level and establish that tradition, hopefully, for years to come. For me as a senior, this is just an incredible opportunity. If you had told me my freshman year that we would be in contention to win you know, our fifth Ivy League title while I was here, I would have told you you were crazy. <laughs> uh, at that point, we were seventh. And you know, we just weren't, our team wasn't in that same mindset. We didn't have the lifestyle we needed in order to be a championship level team. And I think for me, winning another one would just show how much hard work pays off. Our team, our sophomore year sat down and was like, look it, we're, we're not doing well. And we need to put in a lot more effort and really focus in order to be a championship level team. And that meant we changed sleep habits, we changed our diet, we uh, changed everything and realized that being a student athlete's a lifestyle here. It isn't just, you know, your sport on the other side of the river. You know, everything is this lifestyle and we really embraced it and showing um, the Ivy League that we do, can do this again means that that hard work and that lifestyle and that determination really can pay off.